Hello and welcome to part four of the Network Rack series. Today we're gonna to be making these 1U injector panels and I'll be taking through the process of building them. There's also three other parts that preceded this. The links will be at the end of this video, so enjoy. So I'm gonna be using Daikim Steel Blue to mark the aluminum so that I can mark my drilling points. One of the things I didn't show you was how I actually did the layout and, and marking of the aluminum, which is uh, coming up here shortly. You can see some instruments in the background, but uh, they get all marked and of course I'm using the punch to mark it so I can drill the holes. So here's the place I'm gonna cut. I've marked it and this will end up sticking through that. The edges have been marked and punched for the holes for the rack. And now it's ready for me to start drilling them. Once I cut the holes and took that little section out, it's off to the vise where I take the aluminum, clamp it in there, and uses some soft jaws to hold it so it won't mar it, and taking the file to it. And it's a, more of a iterative process of filing, checking, filing, checking, go back and forth until get it all cleaned up and then I would check it every now and then and then follow that up with a little adjustment until everything looked good. So now it's off to the blast cabinet. I tell you this blast cabinet is great. With powder coating it really gives a, a good feel to the metal so that the powder can adhere to it and uh, makes it really tough. So I'm really running around on all sides for this. And I also use this uh, blast cabinet for the washers and the screws that you'll see in a little bit being powder coated. And you know, that's really tough. It holds up well on the screws and makes everything look really nice. And now we're off to powder coating. So here I have the panel and I am coating it in black, making sure to get a really good coat on the front of it. It's a little hard to get the coating inside of the 90 degree angle, but that's on the back, and so you aren't gonna see that anyway. Here I got some washers, and I'm powder coating those. I like everything to look good, so that's why I'm actually gonna do the washers. But in addition to that, I'm also going to do the screws. And you saw it on the piece of cardboard earlier. Just take a piece of cardboard and all and punch some holes and push the screws through. This prevents the powder from getting all over the threads, which would cause some problems. Once they're all done, I insert it into the oven. The panel is the hardest thing to get in there because it's just about the right length. Uh, it does fit though and uh, leaves a few marks, but you'll never see those. And then I use the broiler on the top to hold the washers and then just take the screws on the piece of cardboard and lay them in. The carbon will burn a little bit and it'll be brittle, but uh, coating will all be done magnificently. Okay, so here it is. It's come out and boy, it looks really nice. So I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna take this inside and get ready to put it in place. So here's a different panel, similar to the one I was working on. I just forgot to videotape the other one. This is a 24 volt Ubiquiti injector and I put double sided tape on it. And you can see in the picture there's some holes next to it and those holes will be used for zip ties. So once I get this in place, uh, cut it to length, take the tape off and put it in, uh, the zip ties hold it together. So there it is, nice and seamless. And that is for the Ubiquiti POE injector, so I can put it in place. So you can see the spot where it's gonna go. So I put the panel in, and then I take those screws using the powder coated screws and washers, and I'll just insert the screws. It takes four of them to put it into place, and uh, then you will be ready. You can see I have extra Cat5 cables hanging all over the place here. Um, those were because of the injectors I hadn't uh, finished yet, but uh, eventually all those were taken care of. So here's the final product when it's all done. You can see there's two injectors there and they look great. And uh, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this a little powder coating, a little machine work. It's, uh, you know, it all worked out well. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Owasa Woodworking.